Andy Roman here. Listen, today on Get Real with Andy, I want to talk about food. I want to talk about getting real with food. And, you know, because I work with people that are trying to save their lives by changing their lifestyle, and they will change what they eat. That it's really more important, I've learned and concluded, it's more important to change your relationship with food than it is to just change what you eat to have a healthy relationship with food. I'll challenge you to actually write down a definition of what is a healthy relationship with food. Address what you eat, when you eat, how much you eat, that kind of thing. Address all of those features that would make up a healthy relationship with food. Write it down, state it, this is your vision, and then see if you can choose it because until you choose to have a healthy relationship with food that you have now defined it doesn't matter what you know it doesn't matter what you believe it's what you choose and what you implement that makes all the difference um food is funny we uh, most people as a therapist i work with people that have eating disorders and those are recognizable because they're so extreme. But actually, I would say most people that I know, including myself, we all have eating disorders. We all have some kind of a skewed relationship with food based on what we learn, what we've come to believe, what we habituate with in terms of food. Um, for instance, I grew up with the four major food groups. It was taught in school, I saw it on TV. You know who made up the four major food groups? The American Dairy Association made that up. And of course, what's one of the four major food groups? Dairy. They made it up. The reality is that there's a high percentage of human beings that are lactose intolerant. We're not really made to drink the milk made for baby cows. Um, it's just we're not made to assimilate it, and it's not healthy. Uh, for us. It's the cause of a lot of things that the American Dairy Association said it was the cure for, like calcium deficiency, all that kind of stuff. And so for us to overcome the lies that we've been brought up with, it takes some guts, it takes some effort, because it's much easier to just go downstream with what we know and accept and what we've been used to. So be brave, be real, get real. Let's help each other wake up and snap out of the lies. I don't wanna live in the unreal world anymore. The unreal world isn't just my beliefs about food, but it's a beliefs more insidiously about my own self, about who I am, what I am, what's what I can do, what belongs to me, what I deserve. These are all the things I need to get really straight with so that I can optimize my own experience. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm only here for a short time. You know, we're all here just for a very short time. It's time to wake up and get real. All right, so thank you. I, you know, I am, this is promoting my book, my books, one of which is called Get Real, Get Well, The Power of Authenticity to Heal. I am saying that the process of getting real, of waking up, is intimately connected with getting well. We do well when we're in alignment with nature, when we're alignment with our own innermost being, our true nature. Get back to nature. That's been a long time message, and it's long time positive consequences. So let's do it. Let's overthrow the domination of the unreality that we've been steeped in like little tea bags and dirty water. You know, it's time to reclaim our innocence and take a stand and help each other. All right. Thank you. I am, I am so loving you right now. And I know who I'm talking to. And I, I think you know I'm talking to you. And I just, I want you to know that I'm really loving you right now. Thank you for receiving 
any positivity of my message, receiving it personally, taking it personally. Okay, thank you. Till next time. Peace out. Thank you.